Hi, I'm Steve the Land Boy, and today we are going to find out different masses of different liquids. Okay, now to level your scale, it twists a knob around the end to level out to these things. Level zero, but I already did it beforehand to save some time. Now I gotta measure the graduated cylinder first. So if we put this thing all the way and it doesn't go down, it means it weighs more than 10 grams. So we put this up to 10 grams. And you get to this right way. Let's just stay scale here. Okay, so that's about the way. So you add these two numbers. So we got 10 plus 4 equals 14 grams. And then we got 0.5, 0 0.6. So 14.6 grams. Add that to your chart. Okay, now we got 15 milliliters of alcohol, rubbing alcohol, not just type it as you can. And we add that to graduate cylinder. No, not yet. And now we weigh it again. So I'm thinking it's... I can just move this forward until it goes down. So move back to 50. Okay, so that's about 56.5 grams again. So we add that to our chart. Oops. Fifty-six Now it's time to do some math work. I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> okay. Now we got the calculator math. Yeah. We do our math, so we take the mass of the graduated cylinder and the liquid and subtract from the graduated cylinder. So 56 decimal 5 subtract 14 decimal 6 equals 41 decimal 9. So the math of uh, is 41 decimal 9 grams. Now we gotta find out how much it is for one milliliter of liquid. So we divide it by 50, and that equals. Zero decimal eight four. We'll round it up. So that's how much one milliliter of this liquid is. So then you finish up the rest of your chart with vegetable oil and water. And I don't want to bore you, so that's all I'm showing you is alcohol.